Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's Sunday at 8pm and it's that time again where I create a Top Gear substitution for you to all to watch and fill your space of lacking automotive content this evening. And I'm here with Seen Through Glass again, Sam, as you can see behind me with his Alfa Romeo 4C. And we've got a really interesting day ahead of us. We are heading down to a supercar showroom, I'm not going to say just yet, and we're going to do a um, part two of Idiots Go Car Shopping. So we've got me, who's definitely an idiot, we've got Sam who is also an idiot. We're also meeting up with Tom who's got the blue M3 who's definitely an idiot and we've um, got a new addition today who is called Sam, again another Sam, and he is 100% an idiot. Right, so we're bumping along now in the 4C with which has okay. got to be rude. <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> well, the camera's all over the place. <laughs> That's your hands, man. It's not like your Alzheimer's first. <laughs> what I didn't mention in the introduction was that this video is going to be completely secret filming. The showroom that we're going to today has no idea that we're coming down at all or to film whatsoever. So the fact that we're coming down on a Saturday when they've probably got quite a few handovers is going to be quite annoying for them anyway. But that's the whole idea. We're just trying to capture our idiotic and time-wasting behaviour on camera because it seemed to go down well in the first video, over 100,000 views. So um, we're hoping that we can sort of replicate and uh, reinvent the three idiots go car shopping to four idiots go supercar shopping. Oh. Loud indicator. A bus. McDonald's. Arriving at collection point A and uh, fuel stop wondering whether anyone's going to be there or not because everyone always arrives late to these meets and I'm looking, I'm looking no? oh yes, uh, yes we can see one Lamborghini and no BMW which is no surprise there Tom god that looks awful absolutely awful I don't know why I bought that, it's so embarrassing isn't it? This is an awkward park. So here we go, we've got the uh, Mark 1 Superleggera, arguably the best... Oh my god! <laughs> that was good timing. So arguably the best sounding V10 and arguably the worst sounding V10. He's, come, he's putting the roof on because now he's getting embarrassed. Say hi. I've admit defeat. Hello. Idiots go car shopping All part time. two. Huh? Half an hour later. Half an hour later. Nearly there. Excellent. I need fuel as well, obviously. Again. I'm only getting in so that I can open the door, <laughs> see the steering wheel lock. Hey, put, the cam bucket. put the camera in. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. So the idea today is Tom's going to buy a car. I'm going to be goaded into something I can't afford. It's good. Yeah. Tom's known for his erratic <laughs> fuel stops. 1999. As if he's. <laughs> so let's have a catch up. First impressions. Oh, here of, he is. First impressions of the cars here. Yeah, half decent. Mine's the best, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, clearly. It's better. Not the Lambo. No, oh, the Lambo's got a stone chip as well. Holy. Oh, Whoa. Where is it? Oh, there it is. But actually, it's not honest, good. It is sick. Yeah. <laughs> but this is going. This is going in for service. It'll have windscreen. It's going to get new calipers, new wheels, and I think the exhaust is staying the same. Um, and then Tom over here in the M3 is um, hopefully going to get forced into buying a new car today. Whether it's the first place that we go or the second place, um, it's up to Tom uh, to decide. But the first place that we're going is an Italian supercar manufacturer. Um, No one knows the way. Who's, who's following who? Uh, who's leading? Who's not that sat uh, uh, No one knows where they're going. No one knows where they're going. Oh! Right. So this head count is shit. It's so funny when people aren't used to being on camera and it's so awkward. It's so awkward. awkward. So awkward. Uh, we've decided that the best person to follow. It has got the fastest car. That is a fail. So I'm going to be raping the revs in this beast. There's going to be a lot of fuel burn in this video. I can I see. Um, oh, I'm not ready.
haven't known already. I'm doing a video, Sam. <laughs> Not you, Sam. That's, That's Sam. Sam. And uh, we're heading to a Lamborghini dealership, so it's going to be a really exciting one for me. For Tom, who might jump into a Lamborghini, he might not. Sam, who's already got a Lamborghini, and Sam here, who uh, saving up for a Lamborghini. Saving up for a Lamborghini. <laughs> Secret filming update one, I'm standing next to a Hurricane and an LP 560-2, which is um, a dream car, rear wheel drive. They, they haven't clocked on yet that I'm vlogging, apart from that I'm talking to my phone now. Um, Sam's already trying to buy this Porsche McCann behind. That sounds quite good. That sounds good. From a 4x4. Good. And an Aventador. And then Super Legere is everywhere. That's for sale, surprisingly. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, that's annoying. I like this one. So this is my favourite here, I think. Yellow Super Legere. There's music here which might ruin my copyrights. £40 is the only car that I can afford today. We're now going to have a look at Bentley and Aston Martin because Lamborghini, there's too many Gallardos and not enough V12s and there's not even an LP640 here. Oh, is that the N2? Fuck. That's the one that's always known as the VDA. No, this is 15. Oh, God. Tom, this one's yours. Matte black wheels. Get my debit card out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
exit. service stop as we have got quite a long drive back in towards central London now but uh, Lamborghini was great loads and loads of fantastic and interesting stock Hurricanes, Gallardos and the SV as well I'm not sure whether I got the SV on camera but I'm now back in the 4C I had a quick run in the Superleggera which is a great car um, and uh, now we're just going to head back and I hope that this video has come out nicely got me eating an Oreo cookie, so <laughs> that's fucking footage right there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, okay. So, yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this idiots go car shopping or basically we just ended up wasting the salesman time on a, on a Saturday afternoon, which is one of the main reasons why we decided to do it. And I hope you've enjoyed part two. So thank you for watching. And um, as I probably haven't mentioned already, but everyone knows that Top Gear is now dead with Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May <laughs> from the BBC. And um, this video is going to be more permanent now, 8 p.m. on a Sunday on the Supercars of London channel. And I will try and spice it up every single week. Different variety of cars, different plans, different videos, different style of videos, whatever it is, um, I'm just going to try and get my hands on as many cars as possible and try and create a Top Gear substitution for all of you guys. So thanks for watching, take care, make sure you subscribe, see you later guys. <laughs>